iPhone 6 Touch IC repair. See if I get my mic working. I'm going to take off the chip first, Mason chip. And let's see if we see some oxidation. So, chip is taken off. Let's remove some of the leaded solder, lead free solder. You can see a little bit of oxidation already. If you look closely here, you, you can actually see the oxidation on M1, but more importantly, L L1 is the usual culprit for touch IC disease. You see that? So, I didn't. It didn't take a lot of force to remove this solder ball from L1, and you see M1 is dying, but it's still attached. So the usual culprit of F touch IC disease on an iPhone 6 is that pad right there, L1. So let's get everything out of here. Get all the old stuff out, and put some fresh stuff on. Get all the oxidation off. Just want to make sure you get shiny pads. Let's get a little flux on it and clean it up. Or get a little uh, isopropyl alcohol. So I'm not super happy with this corner pad right here, which is just, it's really ground, it's not a big deal, but I like to remove all the oxidation if possible. So I'm going to try to remove it. There it goes. And all these pads that you see over here, they're all NC. So these two, these two, these two are here. I think it goes three deep here. And then these are all NC as well. So you don't need to really you don't need to worry about those. Okay. So what I do now is I'm going to scrape away the the via for L1, which is the usual culprit of touch IC disease in an iPhone 6. The idea is to give the pad a little more um, metal to, uh, to make the connection to the chip. Alright, so that's 
I don't I probably don't even need to do M1, but I'm gonna do it just because. The M1 is crucial in the six plus, so this may or may not play a part in the six, I don't know. Anyways, this has worked well for me, so that's why I'm sticking with it. Alright. So there you have it. Uh M1 L1 scrape away the via. I'm going to apply a little flux and I'm going to tin it. And instead of using um, lead free solder now, I'm going to use, I'm just going to use regular leaded solder, okay? Because I'm really just trying to add a little more. I'm not trying to make it harder. You know, with the jumper, you want to use uh, lead free so that it melts a little slower, but this one doesn't really matter. So all I'm tr really trying to do is just get a little, a bigger pad, and that's really what I'm getting at. Okay. So there you have it there. Uh, that's my M1 L1 scrape away the via. Uh, now, I do see a little oxidation here, so I'm going to also remove that. Okay, that's good. So now I'm going to apply some ample, I'm going to apply ample flux, and I am going to put a new chip on just like that see these are, I bought these brand new chips supposedly brand new New and original, that's what I searched for. And look at this chip right here. It's chipped at the bottom of it. And they're obviously not new because they're not new and original because uh, there's a lint on the bottom of them, which means that they've been reballed or something. I mean, they're nicely reballed, but uh, even still, they are not new and original and they are charging armor like for these stupid things. So, since there's really not a whole lot of room to hold it on the the long the long side, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it from the short side. Yeah, try to hold it from the short side, and then try to and then as soon as I tack it down, then I'll release it. See, the problem with holding it from the long short side is that. One is that my fingers burn, and two is that there's really no no place for me to um, brace my wrist. Uh, that that kind of brings in the shakiness to the to your hands. So I like to brace my wrist on something, and I'm holding it. Otherwise, see that I'm jittering right now. So, anyways, it's already stuck, so I'm good. I'm just gonna heat it now. And, Give it a little nudge once it's done. And you want to cover these two components up here because those are the Wi-Fi. You don't want to direct your heat that way. Otherwise your Wi-Fi may get grayed out. Make you go into a little bit of a mini panic. Okay, so that's pretty good right there. Nudge it a little bit. Nudge the top a little bit. The idea is to break the surface tension of the solder and hopefully get a nice little adhesion, you know, along with the flux below it and in between, the sandwiched in between it. You want a nice little joint underneath the BGA chip. So that's it. If you want, you can uh, test to see if uh, your, your, via, your um, L1 is short to ground. So you can do this. As long as it doesn't beep, you're good. And then L M1 is actually under here, and uh, you're not you're not really gonna be able to test it. So I don't test it. So that's really about it. And to clean, get some isopropyl alcohol and clean it up a little bit. You should probably wait about five minutes for it to cool down, and then test it.